Look, this is stupid, yeah? You've got a car, and I know who this belongs to. Belonged to? Seriously, he's not wired up right. Really? Yes. He's very rich and very weird. Well, think of me as a Scottish Robin Hood. Only I steal from the very rich and kind of keep it for myself. OK, well, he likes to pay people to do very bad things and then pay people to look the other way. Are you even listening to me? No, but I'll tell you what, I'll make sure I drive away really fast and when I've sold it and made some serious money, I'll come back and I'll give you all the attention you need, yeah? No, I don't need your attention, OK? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what amateur hour? Or maybe if I didn't have someone rattling in my ear. Well, maybe I should go and rattle in his ear. You look about to nick his car, cos all he needs is a name. Or maybe we could keep this our little secret, yeah? Listen, I need you to back up my story, yeah? What happened with me and you was nothing, OK? You, you pretty much forced yourself on me. Oh, that's not how I remember it. Yeah, well, that's how you're gonna remember it, OK? Because I had a happy little life that I'd like to go back to, OK? Listen, I don't want to need you, but I do. Wow. Broken hearts are so easily fixed these days, aren't they? No, wait, Trace, this conversation... You'd laugh. I really wouldn't. We were talking about Jamie's car. Hang on. It was you, wasn't it? She was kissing. In the photo. Yeah. She cheated on my sister with you. Sister? Wow. Right, look, you need to tell her the truth right now. The truth? All right. The truth is, I'm happy to keep scratching that itch of yours, Charity. We'll hook up later, yeah? Right, he's not scratching any itch of mine, OK? So it wasn't a one-off, then? Yes, no, Trace, listen, he's just trying to make things worse. I almost believed you this morning. How upset you were. How much you want to put things right. No, and I do. I do. It'll trust me. You won't be getting the chance. She wasn't lying, was she? Oh, scared the life out of me. What are you doing here? Where's Eve? She's asleep inside. Sarah was worried about you, so she asked, well, she pretty much begged me to come back and help. Oh, I'm fine. What's happened? I've just said. Yeah, I know, but you're lying. Why is Sarah so worried about you? What does this week's car crash look like and who was driving? Me, Chaz. I was driving. I can't believe you're here. Does Paddy know? Uh, I'm here for you. Hey, come on, it's OK. It's not... Babe, I've gone and done what I always do. I got something good and I've flushed it down the toilet. <laughs> and then after today with Tracy, I may as well have flushed twice. Right, OK, do you want to put a bit more meat on the bones, love? Because you're being quite vague there. Oh, even saying it out loud. I kissed someone that I shouldn't have kissed. Because I'm deranged and now Vanessa's found out and she don't want to see me or hear from me until she's ready. Right, OK, there was me thinking it was something serious. And then that guy I kissed. Tracy just saw me with him now. And he pretty much threw me under the bus. And then reversed over me for a laugh and made it a million times worse. What would you want to hear if you were in her shoes? That's just it, though. She'd never do anything like this to me, would she? Babe, look, I hate to ask, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Will you have the kids for me tonight? Yeah, of course I will, but where are you going? I'm desperate. I need to see Ness, don't I? Tracy's probably already filled her in, but I've got to do something. Right, but what happened to her not wanting to see you? If I was in her shoes, I would want to hear that I am her world, her everything. Without me, she's nothing. So that is exactly what she's going to hear from me.